Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. How you doing, everybody? Certainly some isolated showers and storms out there on Thursday, but not nearly as active as it was on Wednesday. And I think that trend will probably continue, at least for the first half of the weekend. Overnight skies clear, waking up to a few coastal showers all along our beach communities, maybe even an isolated water spot. That's a possibility with this kind of a pattern. It actually happens pretty regularly in the summertime with a west wind, and we're going to have that at least until the early part of next week. It also means that those rains begin to push inland by lunchtime and they get heavier over on the east coast later on in the afternoon. Same setup on Saturday, not a lot of moisture, so rain chances probably 20 to 30 percent overall. You can clearly see through Monday things are a little bit drier, but then I think by Tuesday into Wednesday, another slug of moisture probably increases our rain chances, not in terms of the timing. I don't look for a lot of change, but maybe just more moisture to work with. So a little bit more widespread rains as opposed to this isolated stuff that we've had on Thursday and that we're likely going to see for quite a few days. Florida's most accurate seven day rain chances stay at 30% right through Father's Day. But like I said, maybe by next week, a little more moisture could bump up those chances just a tad.